Hello! Did you ever wonder why so many words in English can often be misused? English can be a complicated language to learn, even for native speakers. Some words are misused particularly often, and it can be kind of fun to look at them and see why that is, especially if you're a word nerd like me. So here are 10 commonly misused word pairs in the English language. The word less is quantitative. It refers to things that can't be counted. Someone might say there's less time before an event than they realized. On the flip side, the word fewer refers to things that can be counted. There may be fewer minutes in a half hour than in an hour. Effect with an A is usually a verb, meaning to impact or change. Effect with an E is usually a noun, and it refers to the impact the change has made. If you affect someone's life in a positive way, the effect can be long-lasting. If you are bemused, you are confused. But if you are amused, you think something is funny. This one gets a little grammatical. Lie does not require a direct object, but lay does require a direct object. You can lie down to go to sleep at night, but you lay your book down on your nightstand first. To ensure something means to make sure it will happen. You might register for classes early to ensure you get the schedule that you want. To insure means to take out an insurance policy on something like your home, car, or expensive jewelry. The word farther refers to measurable distances, while the word further refers to abstract boundaries. If you climb farther up the mountain, you might have to push yourself further than you've gone before. Emigrate, with an E, refers to leaving a place while immigrate, with an I, refers to arriving at a place. During and after World War II, many Jews emigrated from Central Europe, and people from all, of the, and people from all over the world continue to immigrate to the United States. If someone alludes to something, they are referring to it. But if they create an illusion, they are fooling the senses of the people around them. Cite is a verb that means to refer back to something like a source for a paper. But cite with a S is a noun that refers to a physical location or a digital location, like a website. Then refers to a sequence of events. First this happened, then that happened. Than is used to compare two things. You might say Star Wars is better than Star Trek, or that you write better in the morning than at night. I couldn't help but include these two bonus word pairs that are a little different than the ones we've already covered. This pair is unique because irregardless, according to English dictionaries, is not actually a word. Regardless already means nevertheless or in spite of. Even more fun than regardless and irregardless, flammable and inflammable are both words that mean the same thing. Confusing, huh? Both words mean something that can easily catch on fire. What confusing words did I leave off the list? Leave me a comment below to let me know, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, and happy writing!